Okay, so here we go. Let's see, what should we do now? We're going to go through different uh, things for the shoulders. That's what we're going to do. Try not to disturb the princess. I'm just going to let it flow. Let's raise our arms up, grab opposite elbows, and then yeah, well, I'll sit so you can see me in the full frame. And I'm going to twist to the left. Preferably you're standing while you're doing this. And then twist to the right. Come back to center, twist back to the left. Just move around, see if there's a nice little twist you want to add to it. Raise the arms up. And let's do a swan dive. Forward fold. And come back up, however way you wish. Okay. Now, let's just give ourselves a bear hug. I'm trying to grab opposite shoulders, the back of my shoulders. Really tight. And then from here, just do a nice twist. I like to just move my back around and my hips around. Feels good. Now, switch the direction. So put the other arm, the, put it the weird way. Okay, put the other arm over that you're not used to doing. It's always nice to just try to doing try to do things the in both ways to try to be ambidextrous. Let's do a tricep stretch. Tricep stretch is super simple. It's like this. So you can see It's just your run-of-the-mill triceps stretch, switch arms, you know, like the kind they have you make do in school. Well, one trick is also you can push your head back and then that will help open up, uh, pull to, to pull that arm backwards as well. So if you, literally you're pushing your head back against the arm back there. You should feel a nice stretch in the back of the arm here as you pull that elbow. Okay, what's next? Um, let's do some rotations. Just very simple. Inhale as arms come up. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Switch directions. Bring the hands up to the sky, hands together, and hands to the heart. Awesome. One more thing. Bring the thumbs out like this, make a fist. And bring them to the sides, just like that. And this is helping to open to externally rotate your shoulder. Notice my elbow is close to my body and I'm just pulling it away. <sighs> okay, let's relax there. <sighs> let's move on to more things with the arms. <laughs> this is all leading up to something, trust me. Even though it seems like it's not. Let's uh, put one arm behind like so, so my right arm is behind my back and I put my left palm on the right palm and then, so this keeps my right shoulder back and then I twist my head so my chin goes to my right shoulder and then I put my left hand on top of the back right side of my head and just gently allow the weight of the arm, the elbow to go down and the weight of the arm to pull the head. I'm really not pushing here. It's just, just so gentle and it's enough. Sometimes less is more. Actually, oftentimes less is more. Alright, let's 
let's switch sides, release that, and put your left hand around the right side of your body. Plug those palms together and pull the left shoulder back behind you. One more time. Turn the chin to the left and then put that hand on the back left side of your head. Remember to take a deep breath and on the exhale just relax. Okay, let's release that and see if you can grab, now see if you could grab opposite elbows here. For some reason, I think I didn't start recording. I have to make sure. Okay, no, we're good. We're good, we're good. <laughs> so, in this position, pull your shoulders back together, chest up, chin and eyes level. Okay, now let's release that for a moment. We're gonna get back into it. Just in a moment. Let's work on, we're going to basically move toward, well I won't tell you, but we'll just do it this way. Put one hand behind you, and then this hand, instead of it being like this, instead of this arm being right above your hip, pull it up like so, and then grab your opposite elbow. So, this might be a struggle, but you do your best. So if you slowly inch your hand toward the outside of your elbow, and then this hand that's behind the shoulder blade, try to put it up inside the shoulder blade. There's a little, uh, basically the shoulder blade is a bone, and on the inside of it is like a little nook you could put rest your hand into and then you can use your other arm that's holding the elbow to keep it there take a deep breath expanding the rib cage and let it go let's switch sides i had my left hand behind me first before i'm gonna put my right hand behind me and then Try to bring it up and then grab whatever I can and try to inch my fingers outside, so my, my left hand's fingers outside the right elbow. And it's a little tough right now. I haven't done this for probably a year. <laughs> I've been missing out. It feels good to feel like a noob sometimes. Okay, I got it though, I got it, I got it. So, from here, I bring my hand up and try to just push it in to the inside of my shoulder blade and take a deep breath to inflate the lungs rib cage expanding and exhale one more time inhale and exhale okay and then release that Woo. 
a lot going on the shoulders today, huh? By the way, if any of these things are hurting your shoulder, I should have said this earlier, but if it's really um, causing some sort of pain that you feel is not normal, it's not like a stretching sort of pain, it's, it feels like uh, injury or it's bringing, aggravating an old injury, then you might need to lay low, uh, do something else, okay? And that applies not just to these poses, but to everything that I've been showing through every video I've ever made. <laughs> that is just one of those things because, you know, you know your body better than anyone else, okay? So let's just... I, I don't want to say this for every video, but every so often I need to... I think I need to say it, alright? So, that's, that's that. Now, we have a couple different directions we could go from here. Remember the tricep stretch we did? Now, let's combine that and do this backward hand clasp. So, how we do that is we we start like this again so I'm bringing my left hand behind me and I'm gonna try to bring this up behind me up above the shoulder blade again and then I'm gonna bring my right arm up and bring it down and see if they meet now if they don't and I'm gonna here I'll get down here so you can see what I'm what I'm doing. And if they don't meet, even if you try, you could get a belt and just hold the two together. Or you could try to wiggle them up and if you can grab one finger, that might be enough to pull them together. And then one finger becomes two fingers. And then one, two fingers becomes three fingers and so forth. And you can also use your head. See how my head is against my arm? Push the head back to help bring it lower. When you have a good, if you have a good firm grip of some sort, just pull them in even more. Top elbow goes back. Remember to breathe. <laughs> and I'm gonna release. Release gently. <sighs> One more time. Now we do the other side. It's too bad, you know, sometimes there's a, it's a good thing that there's another side and then other times it's a lot of work. <laughs> it's double the work. Okay, so I'm gonna put my hand behind me like this, best I can, and then left arm overhead, reach high, and then bring the hand down, wherever it may go. And again, if you have a belt or shirt, you can hold it, and then as you bring it down, you might need it to grab so I'm really close here, but I don't think I'm going to be able to grab my fingers. So let me find my belt. Where did I put it? Okay. So I'm going to grab my belt. And then I can use this hand to pull it down, or I could use the bottom hand to crawl up the belt. Either way, it's helping you stay in this position. And another thing is you can use your head to push, to push back against that arm. Remember to breathe. Okay. And let's leave that at that. 
Now, if you couldn't get your hands together, it's not a big deal. I couldn't either. Uh, probably the next time I try this, like in, let's say if I try it a couple days from now, and I go through this sequence, I'll realize that, oh, I can, you know, oh, I could hook one finger now. And then that'll quickly become two fingers and whatever. It just takes a session or two, or a, sometimes it takes more than just a couple sessions. It depends where your restrictions are. And yeah, you know, don't worry about it. <laughs> All is coming. Let's uh, let's let's do another variation behind our arms, be, with our arms behind our back. So let's begin like this. Elbows behind us, and then try to bring both. Try to bring both hands up behind you, and so this is a weird part because the tops of the hands are touching together, and you have to somehow twist them, or figure out how to twist them, so that the palms face together into this reverse prayer position. Now, reverse prayer. This is not easy. And then some people have so much wiggle room, they can like really feel comfortable. But I'm, I'm not even that comfortable. My wrists and fingers are not having, are not able to stay flat. Here, let me try. There. Now they're flat. Okay. But they're still not that comfortable. And... I remember the first time I had to get into this, someone had to physically move my, help move my fingers into the position. So if you have a friend or someone that can help you, you know, you guys could maybe do it together. But if it hurts, tell them stop. <laughs> because, you know, whenever you have another person manipulate, manipulating you, uh, whether it's physically or emotionally, you really have to put an end to that, right? So, if it's painful, you know, if it's not taking you to the right place, right? So, I'm going to leave it at that. This was a different kind of yoga session. It was more of a teaching workshop kind of session that led to the reverse prayer and a backward hand clasp. And yeah, try those out. These are all internal rotation type moves, which might feel good, might not. We don't typically uh, need to do this excessively, but it's just one or another way of moving our body. And thanks for watching.